Hello and welcome Capricorn. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Capricorn, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with your situation. And that's okay, just take what does and leave the rest behind. Also, I encourage you to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, just because sometimes they can give a little more clarity into your situation. Alright, so Capricorn... Oh, nice. So you have the Eight of Earth. You have the Fool card. Let's see what else is coming out for Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. I'm going to take that top card, which is a Six of Earth. Two more. Four of Earth and Nine of Air. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Water. Okay, so there could be reconciliation for you all, or this could just be talking about, you know, celebrations. Um, we are going into, like, the holiday season. So, again, you know, talking about celebrations, having fun, having a good time. You know, just, again, just kind of being with people, celebrating, family, friends, things like that. Okay, so Capricorn. Um, with the Eight of Earth, you know, this is talking about putting in focus on something, putting in some work into something. Um, I do feel like this is putting in work on a, possibly a new beginning. And um, this could be within a relationship. This could be, um, I keep getting a lot for a lot of you guys. This is also talking um, about finances, um, possibly putting in some extra overtime at work or because um, I keep getting like you're trying to set aside like, you know, a little nest egg here. Um so some of you may, you know, have like seasonal jobs or something. That's what you're like putting aside for, just like preparing for, because I keep getting something along those lines. Um, but with the full card, again, I feel like there's going to be a new beginning here because I keep getting, you know, that taking a leap of faith. So I keep getting, you again, putting aside something or putting work into something, really having a lot of faith in this, that it's going to work out, that there's going to be a new beginning here. With the Six of Earth, again, that's balancing something out here. That's, you know, balancing the scales. That's um, making something work here. Um, you know, that's equal. With the Four of Earth, you know, again, I feel like you guys are really kind of like hoarding something. I don't feel like you're um, doing anything like in a bad way or anything or, you know, um, obsessively. I just feel like, you know, you are, like I said, setting aside a nest egg, really kind of preparing. Um, with the Nine of Air, you know, I am feeling you being a little cautious about something, um, overthinking something. Again, almost kind of being, I keep getting like not having enough. So Capricorn, I don't know if you're, again, worried about like finances um, or just trying to, you know, you could be the main person, you know, trying to pull everything together. And so, you know, again, there's that, that not necessarily, well, I guess it is kind of a fear, kind of weighing on you, like, you know, are we going to have enough? Can we make it through, you know, the, um, the winter season or, you know, the holiday season? Um, but I do feel like finances are really kind of weighing on you here. All right, let's get some clarifiers. And as usual, we're going to clarify from left to right. So Capricorn, Capricorn, why is the Six of Earth here? Okay, one more shuffle. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, we have the King of Swords. All right, we have the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Queen of Cups. So again, I do feel like you are trying to find a balance here because this is clarifying the Six of Earth. So I do feel like, you know, there needs to be some communication um, there's a whole lot of love here, still a whole lot of feelings here uh, with the lovers. That's a very strong connection, but we need to find a balance. And that's what I keep getting very strongly. Um, so again, for some of you, this is talking about a relationship. Like I said, I did feel possibly, or did I say that? I don't know, in your, <laughs> your pre-shuffle Capricorn, um, you kept getting the three of... Okay, yeah, and that was on the bottom of the deck, too. Um, but even in the pre-shuffle, you kept getting the Three of Water. So, again, I do feel like there could be possibly a reconciliation that this is going to. Um, so I do feel like, you know, again, for some of you, too, this is talking about not wanting to let go of a relationship or of a connection. Um, but I don't feel there's communication here right now, but I feel like there needs to be some communication. If you want to make this work, and I feel like that's what you're going towards. You know, you're trying to make something work. You're trying to balance something out here. Okay, we're going to take one more, which is a hermit. Oh, okay. There's already three. 
Well, we're going to take four. So clarifying the Fool card, we have the Empress. We have the World card. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit. So I do feel, again, there needs to be some truth, honest, and communication within this connection. Um, there's already a whole lot of feelings here. You know, a whole lot of love. I feel a very strong bond, a very intuitive connection. You could possibly be dealing with a water sign or somebody who is... Um, almost like an empath or, you know, have some kind of psychic abilities, something along those lines here, Capricorn. With the full card, I do feel like, you know, you've been doing some soul searchings, you know, possibly like figuring some things out. Um, you know, again, wanting to start something new here, possibly wanting a renewal with this relationship. With the Queen of Pentacles, this is wanting to go towards stability. This is, you know, wanting that growth here, you know, especially with the Empress here, these two lovely ladies um, talking about growth, talking about stability, nurturing, encouragement, um, you know, new beginnings here is what you want. And, you know, again, clarifying the full card, definitely some new beginnings. With the world card, again, talking about, I keep getting another new beginning. It's like we're closing out old cycles and we want a new beginning here. Um, so I feel like a lot of changes here coming your way here, Capricorn. Okay, and apparently we are going to take that. Um, we do have the Seven of Swords. Clarifying the Eight of Earth, we have the Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So again, um, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to be needing to kind of put some focus in on exactly where you want to go or how you want to go. I do feel like somebody here has been hiding some emotions. I keep getting having like some secret thoughts or kind of... Um, not necessarily overthinking a situation, but still hanging on to a connection and still thinking about it. Um, I keep getting, for some reason, like somebody's feeling kind of guilty for thinking about it. With the Page of Wands, again, that's wanting some communication. That's also getting some good news. But with the Two of Wands, I do feel this communication um, or this good news that you're going to be getting is going to help you make your decision. Um, and again, I do feel like there's going to need to be some work put in here, though. It's not going to be, you know, exactly just simple and easy. I do feel like I said there's going to need to be work um, on possibly, well, yeah, of course, on both parts. Um, but it's going to definitely take one person that needs to make that move. All right, so Four of Earth. Um, I keep getting crossing paths, so you could be crossing paths with this person, so that could also uh, be what that means as well. All right, so clarifying the Four of Earth, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Artist, we have the Ten of Wands. So I do feel there was an ending here between the two of you. Um, definitely a struggle, somebody really putting walls up. This could, I feel like this is both of you, Capricorn. And there goes a the lovely train. Um, but with the Artist, that's feeling and seeing there's more to this connection than what you know both of us are really even admitting to and I say both of us because I feel like it's on your side Capricorn and on their side um, I just feel like there's so much more here okay um, but yeah like I said there's still there's something here I feel I keep getting that somebody didn't see it before but they see it now so again Capricorn could be you could be your person all right nine of air we have the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, and we've got that Five of Swords. All right, so Capricorn, this could have been a third-party situation. Somebody could have possibly been in a relationship um, at that time, or, you know, again, timing is kind of off. I do feel like there was another party involved. Um, hmm. I also keep getting, again, with that Two of Swords, needing to make the decision I keep getting moving forward, but reluctantly. I keep getting put, somebody putting on a mask, acting like this connection didn't mean as much as what it did, and therefore they just move forward, kind of cutting the other person out of their life. Again, no communication um, for quite some time, but with the nine of air, you know, again, that's, that's some sleepless nights. That's some anxiety. That's some stress. That's not wanting to let go. I feel somebody hurting very deeply within this connection. Um, it's like a lot has gone on, and there's so much heartache, so much loss, and it's like they could really open up to you and communicate. But since there's no communication between the two of you, there's just heartache and loss. They have no one to really open up to. They have no one to really talk to or communicate. Or again, this could be how you feel about your person. Um, you know, again, this is general reading. This is energy. So take it how it resonates. But I just feel so much loss, so much heartache. Um, I feel somebody really trying to protect themselves. But at the same time, like I said, cutting out that other person and in turn kind of hurting themselves. 
Um, I keep getting, again, somebody not being truthful, not being honest about this connection, about their feelings, about what it is that they truly want. All right. I just want to take a couple of these cards just as an extra message for Capricorn, and then we'll take an oracle. So extra message, please. Message for Capricorn. Okay. All right, so Capricorn, bottom of the deck, we do have the waiting game. So I feel like you have been waiting um, to either make a move or waiting to hear something from this person. Um, and I keep getting waiting for a change, and a change you shall receive because we have disruption here, which is the tower card, a tower moment. T not all tower moments are bad. Um, I do feel like it's going to accelerate. It's going to move you where you need to go. Um, with wisdom here, you know, again, this is talking like the Hierophant. And, you know, again, the Hierophant, you know, talks to, you know, feeling very committed here. Um, feel, I keep getting, you know, learning a lot of lessons. I feel like you both have, you know, had to go your separate ways to learn things about each other, to learn things about yourselves. Um, but I keep feeling, again, like this connection is being brought back together. Okay. All right, Capricorn, let's get your Oracle card, and then we will get a few charms. Okay. We have a few. Oh, okay. Um, so we have Compass. So, again, I feel like, you know, you're finding your way back home. You're finding your way back to this person, Capricorn, or, again, vice versa. Um, coming apart again I feel like the two of you are very connected and even though you're apart you still feel each other you still feel that connection um, I feel this is very special here um, with talisman I feel like a lot of you have been seeing signs um, I feel like there's again there's something that keeps pulling me back and I feel like that's how you feel or that's how your person I honestly feel like that's how both sides feel it's like there's something that's just been pulling each other back um, with dry desert I do feel like there's more here, again, than what we are really seeing. Um, I do feel like, you know, somebody's really missing. I actually, I feel like both of you are really missing each other, really wanting to, again, communicate. This is trying to cut out, trying to get rid of emotions, um, things like that. But it's it's not being able to because, like I said, there's definitely more to this connection than um, than I think you think or than they think. All right, so let's get some charms for Capricorn. All right. So Capricorn, <laughs> um, this could have something to do with, um, I keep getting like woodsy type of feeling. Um, but this could also mean again, you know, talking about like Christmas time, holiday time, maybe that's what's either, you know, bringing this connection out, like the feelings for the connection, or this is when they choose to just kind of, you know, speak out is, you know, the holiday time, holiday season. Um, with grapes, I keep getting, um, actually the first thing I got was this is somebody's favorite snack. Um, but the second thing I always refer to with grapes is, you know, again, it's like the beginning stages of making wine. So it's like you have to go through different stages in order to really fulfill, you know, this connection's purpose. Um, with the little wolf here, again, I have to say, um, Capricorn, you could be dealing with the Pisces. And the reason I say that is because for the Native American totem, um, the Pisces symbol is the wolf. Um, and so I keep, that was my first thought when this came out was Capricorn, you could be dealing with Pisces. Um, but this is also kind of somebody being that lone wolf type of energy, really used to just taking care of themselves or, um, you know, kind of fending for themselves. Um, just kind of being alone, you know, not really having to rely on anybody else or, um, needing anything from anybody else or just, you know, like I said, just always kind of looking out for themselves. And this is, you know, one of those steps, one of those processes within these grapes to get to the ultimate outcome, which is, you know, that wine, that celebration, um, is recognizing that, you know, you do have a counterpart. You do have an, a connection here. Um, with a little 3d little Eiffel tower, you know, I keep getting a realization and I keep getting, um, possibly travel for some of you, but I keep getting something manifested. So, you know, Capricorn, if you've been waiting for something, trying to manifest something, I definitely feel like this is going to be coming in. Um, with the little bottle opener, I feel like there's going to be, you know, that, you know, popping that top on somebody's feelings that they've been kind of bottling up, kind of suppressing here. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of like, I keep getting overwhelming, um, a lot of emotions that somebody has been trying to hide. 
with the two little swans here, I do feel like there's some kind of equality um, the first go round. Um, I keep getting twice, so I don't know, Capricorn, if you've tried to work this out with this person like twice before. Um, this could possibly be like the third time's a charm type of situation. But I do feel, Capricorn, um, you know, again, there's a lot of love here. There is a special connection here. Um, and I also keep getting, again, a lot of growth here within this connection. So I just feel like, you know, again, it's kind of been the waiting game for both of you on both sides or something. So, all right, well, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, take care.